Children have human rights, and all over the world, children have become some of the most passionate and effective champions of human rights, or human rights defenders, as the United Nations call them. They are raising awareness, they are building movements, they are protesting, they are standing up for their peers and their communities. Children are contributing to change with ideas and solutions on many different issues that are important to them from the environment and climate change, to bullying and their right to participate and to share opinions freely. But child human rights defenders face many challenges that adults do not. It is often unclear where they can get help if they experience problems as human rights defenders or where they can access child-friendly and age-appropriate information. All too often, they are not taken seriously, or adults try to prevent them from speaking up and sometimes they are bullied and abused for standing up for human rights. Things can be especially tough for children who are already facing barriers, such as children with disabilities, girls, or those from minority groups. The particular rights of child human rights defenders have been set out by the United Nations. These include that they have the right to be treated fairly, the right to have decisions taken in their best interests, the right to life and development, and the right to be heard in decision-making. Child human rights defenders have the right to access information, the right to be part of or form groups, the right to develop and share opinions, and the right to be protected from harm in their actions. But almost everywhere, governments and societies at large are falling short. So what needs to happen? Well, we need laws and policies that protect and empower child human rights defenders. And to do that properly, they need to create systems to ensure they are listening to children's voices and taking action. They also need to promote awareness and positive attitudes towards child human rights defenders, including among parents, carers, teachers, the police and lawyers. Crucially, governments also have to make sure all children are taught about their rights as children and as child human rights defenders, and how to stand up for and exercise them. And human rights bodies like the United Nations have a role to play too. They should provide child-friendly information about their activities and set up channels for child human rights defenders to get in touch with them for support and protection. Importantly, they must hold governments to account for meeting their human rights promises. Children are defending human rights across the world, and it's time they are recognized, protected, and empowered. Join our movement and learn more about the rights of child human rights defenders at chrds.childrightsconnect.org.